Ah, uh, Mr. Feet? Mr. Bob A. Feet? Sure. Whatever. How's it going, people of the internet? Whether it's morning, night, afternoon, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is your boy, once again, Bubsy, back with a brand new video for you guys here today. Yes, it has been a while. And I know I've been super lazy with my videos lately. This just it's kind of been bad, and I kind of just been super busy with just a lot of things in my life. You know, just a lot of things. But, uh, yeah, well, today, as you guys can already tell, what we have in front of us here today, we have a new Hot Toys release. Finally, for Christ's sakes, it's been like... I think four or three months, excuse my air conditioning, it you'll probably hear in the background, but it's been super, super, like, it's been a super long time since we got a new release, and of course, thankfully, it was the Ahsoka release that brought us out of this drought of releases, and I couldn't be happier. It's been a long fucking two years of waiting for this figure to actually finally have it here. It's just, I, I, I can't believe it. And you, like I said, you guys already know what it is. Season seven, Ahsoka. Just absolutely gorgeous. Just, I mean, just looking at the box and just so pictures. I haven't really looked at pictures much because I wanted to experience it for myself because I've been super excited about this figure. But before we get into that, I want to give a huge shout out to Midas Studios for always helping your boy secure all his fucking day one pre-orders and all that good stuff. I always, I literally have all my pre-orders with them because, well, their customer service is like on point it's better than all these other ones that like are you know i know they're more bigger and all that you can't beat their customer service and honestly the prices are probably the best in the market i'm not even over exaggerating about that i'm very like i try to get the best price of what i can especially for you guys that you know i spent a lot of money on these videos because i want to share my experience with you guys and of course give you guys these reviews so of course i have to go with the best price and honestly they have the best price so if you guys want to check out all their day one pre-orders and all that and they don't even and just other figures that they're selling as well well check them out on their instagram i'll have the link in the description and all that good stuff but here we are back with the figure here itself and like i said it's been a long two years so i'm just gonna shut up and get into the box itself so moving on to the box as you guys can see we have the standard hot toys box art and all that stuff with the standard ribbon that it always comes with of course with the picture of the figure and then another picture of the figure here on the side as well very nice blue with the yellow and then it is of course saying ahsoka tano which is tms 021 which is i think the clone wars line i believe i'm not too sure but yeah as you guys can see this is the standard box like I said, it's it's a standard box. I'm not really gonna say much about it, but what I'm gonna say a lot about is actually the box art insert piece. That is my favorite part. Oh, fuck! That is nice. That is very nice. I oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that box art insert, bro. That is super nice. Damn. But uh, yeah, let's take this bad boy out and take a little sneak peek of the figure itself. And holy shit. As you guys can see, a little sneak peek. I don't know if you guys can see because of the reflection of the plastic, but here we have the figure here itself. So now what I will do is shut my ass up and then get into the accessories and we will be right back. All right, so we have all the accessories laid out in front of us here today, as you guys can see. And considering the past, and considering the figures that I've reviewed recently in the past, this figure does come with a pretty good variety of accessories with the figure. As you guys can see, it does come with the tans, little holograms and all that, but we'll just dive right into it right now. And which the first thing we'll get in is the point bar is of course the base. And of course we just have the standard rectangular base with the standard, I guess, flooring that we usually get for most figures. I do prefer these cases compared to the sand ones or like the engraved foot ones i hate those ones those could eat shit and die those are the worst types of bases i don't know why hot types but yes thankfully we have the standard one where you can have the figure you know laying flat with its feet on there so there's that and of course the little plaque there right there as you can see this is a sokotano and all that and then moving on to the hands obviously they're very very different compared to your normal hands as you guys can see they are obviously with armor and then ahsoka's fingertips as you guys can see the fingertips are orange and all that and then the armor has a little nice weathering to it we do have different types of hands where this one i believe is you know has her gripping her lightsaber i believe she has something palming in her hand but as you guys can see the details on that very very nice coming from hot toys obviously nothing too different and then we have just a fist one but yeah we have those of course and then of course moving on to the next part we have these little accessories right here as you guys can see we have this thermal detonator as you guys can tell for some reason i don't know why she came with her i've never really seen her with a de thermal detonator at least in 
Clone Wars Season 7, which is very odd to me, but I, for some reason, they did include it, but it's not, I'm not really complaining about it. I mean, I'm probably never going to use it, but uh, yeah, we have this thermal detonator, so let's put that right there. And then the last little piece that we have is this little hologram, which moves on to the other accessories that come with it, of course, is the hologram, well, hologram that you can put on the hologram piece right here. So it's just like that. You just pick it in there real quick, and then boom. You have it, you know, with Ahsoka putting it in the palm of her hand, and then she can either be talking to Obi Wan with his Return of the Jedi. I'm sorry, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith outfit, or Anakin in his uh, Clone Wars outfit, as you guys can see. Which that figure should be hopefully coming out very, very soon. And then of course we have Yoda here that you can be talking to as well. So you can just put it in any type of form right here, which is a very nice feature. And of course these holograms do have it's a nice hologram effect. I love how Hot Toys was able to implement that in well these as sec as accessories, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, that's the little hologram piece right there. And then of course moving on to I guess the coat over here as you guys can see this is the coat that she wears at the end of season seven with that very very depressing ending where she is you know in front of all the clones uh graves and uh yeah she just has like a very um emotional moment with all those fools and all that but uh yeah this is the cloak that you can wear i might display with this i don't know but it just looks really nice i hope i'll probably you know have it on later um in the video when with the poses and all but uh yeah it's, it's made out of just you know like a cloth material you can open it i believe just like that i want to say i don't want to mess up anything yeah it's just like a little button right there just click it on and then boom there's a certain way of putting it you take off her head and then you put her head in there and then you put the head back on with the coat i'll, I'll probably show it later on uh, but yeah, there's that. And then of course, last but not least, which I think is my favorite part, and of course it's a necessity for this character, is her lightsabers. Obviously she has two lightsabers, one that's smaller and the other one that's bigger. But the thing I do like about these is that the fact that in Clone Wars Season 7, she actually has blue lightsabers compared to the green ones that she always had in, well, the other season of Clone Wars, which unfortunately it doesn't really show that very well on like i guess in real life when it comes to like hot toys figures as you guys can see the the blue on this is a very very light bluish almost kind of like tiffany bluish which doesn't match the you know dark blue i wish they made it kind of like this color it would have been a little bit better but uh i mean i'm not complaining it's not really a big deal i probably won't even be displaying with the figures because well i'm going to be displaying with clones but uh yeah and then we have these little effects right here of her swinging in and on all that but uh yeah the detail on the lightsabers are probably my favorite part when it comes to hot toys when reviewing you know lightsaber wielding characters i love the detail that they add to it just especially because of how small it is but you guys can see the detail on it and all the weathering marks and all that it's just it's a very very nice detail or just accessory that hot toys you know can obviously nail and it's just very very nice but yes ladies and gents that is all the accessories that come with this figure here in front of us and so what we will do now of course is get into the figure itself so we will be right back all right ladies and gents as you guys can tell we have the wonderful ahsoka tano from clone wars season seven here today and as you guys can see this straight out of the box this thing is absolutely gorgeous i honestly i'm gonna be real with you guys i never intended to pre-order this figure whatsoever i thought it was cool when it first came out but then i was like all right uh yeah i'm not gonna pre-order but then there was a time where i was just like fuck i'm gonna pre-order all the star wars figures so i can review them on my channel and well here we are today and honestly i do not regret this this is actually my very first star wars figure that's a female that i'm actually gonna keep in my collection because i did have the ray for like a week and then i sold it because i was like it didn't fit my collection but this is just uh so beautiful and it's my it's honestly my favorite outfit of so good this this is by far her most best look because in my opinion well my favorite color is blue so i am a little biased but yes that is just beautiful but let's just dive right into it. as you guys can tell this thing is just beautifully beautifully designed with her head sculpt this was actually designed way before i believe they casted rosario dawson for her so they kind of just hot toys kind of just you know went fucking kind of did it in their own way and i think it's just it's perfect it perfectly adapts ahsoka and how she looks and then she obviously got her um little headpiece i don't i forgot what it was called and i don't want to say it. it's made out of a rubbery thing it's kind of like you can move it i believe it's art. yeah it's articulated which is very cool 
I do like that because, well, you can have her in different poses and all that. And then, of course, her back piece right here. I believe it is removable. I just don't want to fuck with it right now. Oh, yeah, it is removable by the face because it does have this feature where, holy shit. Yeah, it's removable. So, yeah, it's kind of a little bit creepy, but it does have the you know dx feature where it's not a dx figure but it does have the feature where you can move the eyes around i'm not personally gonna move the eyes around right now because well i have no intention to as of right now but uh, yeah if you guys want to know that they are removable of course and then you can just pop that puppy right back on there let me take do it real quick because i don't want to fuck it up do it like that and that's pretty much it but uh yeah i did want to explain the head sculpt right there i think the head sculpt looks absolutely gorgeous i think it just perfectly looks like ahsoka from even though it's not rosario dawson i think it just looks perfectly like her and all that gizmo but uh, yeah moving down the outfit i like i said this is her best outfit in my honest opinion i just think overall it just it just looks beautiful her headpiece right here is from like the one that bo katan has which i do like right here as you guys can see on her upper you know like her little headpiece i guess you could call it and then like her whole outfit i believe it's from mandalore because obviously she met with bo katan and all that but uh, yeah, it is a very like um, almost plasticky, like kind of leathery-ish uh, feel to it. I don't, it's not pleather, but it's very nicely designed as you guys can tell. And as you move along the waist area, it does have like a little, you know, belt around it, which is like a, pla it's plastic as you guys can hear. And then, uh, yeah, you move down, we have that, you move down more the belt area. You have like this little cloth-ish kind of like hard cloth right there. And then of course you move to the hip area and her little skirt area. This is a very lightweight material and it's not, it's like a rubbery material, obviously with like the little uh, decals on it. And then we have her little side plates as well, which is very nice plastic feel on that. And on the back, we have another like, you know, protective for her, you know, her behind. And yeah, we have that. And it's just as overall, it just, it looks beautiful. It's weathered pretty nicely for what it is and you know as you guys can see hopefully if not i'm gonna kill myself because i hate when i can't see what i'm trying to show but uh yeah you guys can probably hopefully see that there's weathering on it if not i'll try to zoom in a little bit more but uh yeah and then we move down to her i guess her pants area they kind of look they look like leggings almost but uh they're not they're, but they are oh it, it's made out of a very rubbery material so it does help with articulation i believe and uh yeah and then we move on to her knees and her shin area which is obviously a plated thing which is obviously a plated armor look but of course it's plastic as well very nice weathering on it as well on there and then her boots area as you guys can see hopefully we have just you know normal boots with armors on the boots and all that and then moving on to her arms of course we have a sleeveless you know toffer so she obviously she's gonna show her you know her muscles and all that but on the gauntlets we have on the gauntlets we do have very nice pieces of armor for her forearms and all that which is very very nice on each side so you guys can see very nicely weathered with the little buttons there as well on this side as well and then of course the standard hands which i did show earlier already and all that so yeah overall this the design of this figure is just very very beautiful i just think it looks beautiful articulation wise i think it's amazing just because of well the pants that it comes with of course i i honestly like stretching it out and all that just doesn't seem like a problem now what everyone's concern is for sure i know that and what most of you are probably here for is because is the arms the arms, obviously, they're made out of a rubber for some reason. I wish Hot Toys, and I know a lot of people would probably agree with me on this, and I've heard it before, is I know a lot of people wanted jointed arms as another, I guess, alternative to this that was included, and they were hoping that would be included, but unfortunately, Hot Toys was like, not nah, fucking you either get this or you don't get it at all. But uh, yeah, that's the only, I guess, downside to this. You know, if you guys haven't heard, when you bend these, you start to crease them and if you have them in a certain thing like that for a certain amount of time they will rip unfortunately but uh yeah for me honestly i don't think i'm gonna be having you know ahsoka in any type of pose that's gonna be crazy or you know i'm gonna try to keep her in a museum pose because i do like to keep my figures in museum poses for the most part but uh yeah i mean articulation wise you can move her up all the way i don't think something like that you can you know have anything rip but when it comes to the elbows bending the elbows or anything you guys can see the crease i hope you can right there it's just it's that's where the problems start to come in and 
you know, honestly, I just, all I can say is just be, be, be very, very careful when it comes to that. Try not to like, you know, have it in a pose like that for very, very long because you will probably damage this figure. That's the only downside to this figure, I would say. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think this figure looks spectacular. But uh, with that being said, ladies and gents, I cannot wait for this part. And that is, of course, the final part of my video where I actually share my final thoughts of the figure itself while showing it in the many poses that you can well pose it in. So we will be right back. All right, everyone. So we are back to the final part of the video. And that is my favorite part of all my videos. And that is, of course, expressing my final thoughts, the figure that we just reviewed, and of course, showing it in the many different poses that well posted it and honestly jesus i honestly have not i i am and i am not the type of person to do posing or any of that i mostly spend my time just i try not to spend that much time on posing just because it's more so for me it's a hassle it's not that fun i guess doing it for the most part that's just me but honestly dude this figure here is just no matter what pose you put it in, it just looks so sick. I know maybe it, on camera it doesn't, maybe it won't look as good, but in person, oh my god, dude, this figure is just, it's just so good. It's so beautiful. Like, the, oh my god, like, and, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like, I'm not trying to say that I'm not a big fan of Ahsoka. I mean, I love Ahsoka now, but like, like, I know there's people that are out there that are fans of Ahsoka, and me not being a huge fan of him or her. Dude, this thing just, it, it makes me even, it makes me want to go watch season seven all over again right now. Like, I probably will watch it after this, after making this video, but dude, oh my god, it's just so beautiful, just all around, just top to bottom. There are a few cons that I do want to mention right now, which are, one, of course, it's the, the arms. You got to be very, very careful with the arms. As you can see, I have mine right now in a museum pose, which I will keep, of course, but the boys in blue, because, well, I mean, she just has her, her fit matches them. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's a must. For me, at least it's a must and it, they have to be together. But yes, I do have her in a museum pose and that's how I'll keep her just because I do not want any rips on those arms. I want this figure to look perfect, as perfect as you can. But I did pose her in some kind of dynamic poses. Like, I think just one, honestly. But she just looks amazing. If you have two and you're like, you know, not really tripping about ripping one. I mean, fuck it. Why not? Just do it. But in my opinion, just be very, very careful. Do what you want with your figure at the end of the day. But just be very careful. Another thing that really pissed me off was the arms. Or not the arms. I'm sorry. The hands. The hands and the pegs. I made... I don't know if it's just mine, but mine every time i try to put a saber in it every time i try to move it just you know just because when you pose it obviously you move the hands and all that, it just fell out and it was just super super annoying it was just you know that's that was something that was fucking very very annoying and i did not like but i mean at the end of the day that doesn't kill the, how i feel about this figure and then the last one is of course the head articulation i didn't talk about that part very much just because i kind of was just going through it because i was really excited to just pose this figure but yes the articulation on the head isn't that very well i ha i know you could probably move even more when you move her little you know her little head thing um but you know for the time being you know just trying to move her even just a little bit it's very very hard i haven't moved it but it's probably just me being stupid but yes the head articulation probably it's not the best but still nonetheless this figure is still beautiful from top to bottom just the clothing the head sculpt just everything all about it just the detail of it it's just absolutely beautiful and as you guys can see like i said just with the boys in blue it's just it's just it's perfect it's honestly I, like i i understand the hype now everyone's posting about this and they won't shut up about it and i understand why they won't shut the hell up about it because this figure is just beautiful it's so much better in person the pictures do not do it any more justice than i guess it basically needs piece. nonetheless i mean this figure speaks for itself the character speaks for itself it's a very beloved character in the stars community and of course hot toys nailed it and i makes me even more hype for the mandalorian version i cannot wait to get that one i think that one looks amazing as well and well i will hopefully do a comparison with the both to see which one's which and which one's rather but that is when that figure comes out and all that but for now we have all the attention right here on this beautiful figure ahsoka tunnel from star wars the clone wars season seven but with that being said ladies and gents of course if you enjoyed the video please leave a like because it really helps your boy out with the youtube algorithm because you know how funky that shit is and then of course if you guys 
And of course, let me know what you guys think about this figure in the comment section below. Is this something that you guys already pre-ordered? Is this something you guys would pass out? Is this something that you're on the edge of thinking? But maybe this video really helped you out, you know, figure out if you were going to want this figure or not. I mean, let me know. Let me know your opinions and thoughts on this figure because I love hearing your guys' opinions and all that good stuff. And of course, if you guys love day one unboxings and all this, I know this one came out a little bit later just because FedEx decided to fuck me over. But I promise I do try to get these reviews out as soon as possible. Hit that little red button down below and hit the little bell notification to know when I will upload these videos because I do not have a very consistent schedule. But when I do upload, I do upload. So if you guys are interested in any types of Star Wars collectibles, whether that's Legos, lightsabers, any of that stuff, I do that, you know, all that stuff there. But, uh, but yeah, ladies and gents, if you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And remember, I'm just a simple man just trying to make his way through YouTube. And, well, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.